Hi, um, somebody asked me if I could try and do a video to show how I created this peacock. So this is me giving it a go. Um, I'm not professional, so apologies for any sound or any quality issues with the video. Um, and this is the first time yesterday when I had a go at um, using alcohol inks to paint with rather than blow around. I've used them for decorating baubles a lot. So here we go. I've got um, a reference photo from Pixabay just for the head really and an idea of the shape. So I use that for my reference and then I've sketched out my peacock um, earlier I had to go doing some flowers so they're quite cool as well I'm quite pleased with those so um, I'll do some of those as well as we get going I will put a list of everything that I've used because I use an awful lot of different inks and stuff um, I do have to pick it up and move the paper so apologies there will be times when um, you can't really see so I'm going to start with doing the tail. You'll see I've got some splatters on the page, which is from where I did those flowers, but um, I don't think it will matter. So we we'll start with this emeraldy greeny kind of colour, lots of different greens leading into some blues, purples and pinks, mix them all together. And that's the plan anyway. So I've got... get some tissue paper ready to mop up any spillage. I'm just going to move it around because I'm going to come round in that kind of direction. So I'm going to start with some greeny yellow. I've got some emerald green. And I'm going to go in with some turquoise. And a little bit of ultramarine. Don't, don't forget your ventilation, people. I'm going to put on some of the isopropyl. And I'm going to use this hand tool to kind of push it away and in the direction that I want it to go. And it has a nice kind of feathering effect. So once I'm kind of happy with that, I think I've got rid of some of the um, lumpy bits. I think I'm going to go in with a bit of pink. Just a bit on there. Bit of pink, bit of an alcohol. Gosh, that's very vibrant, isn't it? You push it down and making it go in the direction. I guess if you've got one of those air blowers, but I've tried that and I just can't get the same effects. I don't know why. I'm 
doing it kind of if you don't hold it down and get the excess off the edge I think it pulls along the bottom a bit so just I'll just turn that over a bit now and we've got some brass I think it needs a little bit, a few little darker areas. So that's the tail just for now. I'm fairly happy with that, but I think I want to tidy up and put a little bit more maybe of the yellow green just here and they're going to merge that in shortly so i don't need to worry about it too much That and then a little bit of this darker limey green on the top. And then some brass. On the lid for the brass at the moment. Right. So for these, what are the wings? What you'd call the wings of um, underneath the tail feathers. Anyway, I'm using a, a coffee colour. I'm just going to kind of put it on like this. Move it around with the brush. Stick some gold, some brass blotches in with that. And then you want a little bit, a tiny drop of it. Over the other side. I need to put a little bit of the colour into a paint chai. Okay. 
paint it. Okay, so we're now ready to work our way up and start with the top of the peacock's head. Bear with me by trying to put some lids on. It's always good to take all the lids off to start with. Um, I'm just going to pause you. And into my, I've got a, a paint tray here. I'm going to put the colours that I want to use for the actual peacock. So I'm going to start with, I'm just going to turn it around so that my hand doesn't get on too much stuff. Start with some ultramarine and I pop it into the paint tray and I'm going to add just a little bit of the isopropanol. Just going to clean the brush in the centre. Try and get it to be covered with purple. Get as much of it out as I can anyway. Right. So I've got quite a painty brush. And I'm just going to go in and... Start putting the colour in. For the peacock's head. Now don't go straight in up to your pencil line because sometimes it seems to sort of spread for some reason. Not being an expert and being quite new to this, I have no idea why it does that. And other times it doesn't. So just with a fine brush, I guess if you've got Posca pens, you could, could be using your pens for this. I've only got gold and silver ones, so. Tidy that up in a moment. Turning the paint around a lot, so I've covered up that mess on there. You need a steady hand. As you know, it's very unforgiving stuff. Okay, so it's beginning to look like a peacock. Go around just and put some. More around, and then for this feathery bit here. I went like that, and then I got a little bit of isopropanol, and just put it underneath, you can see. 
see that and it kind of spreads up and gives you different colours and different tones which I think is important and then you can do the same thing on the top of his head just, just to give yourself you know some lights and darks and different variations okay right I need to clean the brush again I'm just going to pause you because it needs a good clean now okay so we're going to start again and we're just going to do the beak and for the beak I use a little bit more of the coffee colour just to drop um, I put that into the paint tray with some like open off and just got a very faint browny colour for the peak. And then obviously the the underside is more in the shade so that I a darker darker shade in underneath and then black So just one drop of black as well into your tray and then I didn't dilute that because this is quite fine work so I want it more concentrated and not moving so just a teeny, he's got his nostril on the beak and a little bit in, in between and now I'm going to go in and do his eye. So remember to leave a bit of white on his eye. So his eye is done, and then clean the brush a little bit. Excuse me, I'm all over the place here, trying to not get in the way of the camera. Right, and then just in this big white bit, I just put a bit of shade in it faint coffee colour just there and then you can use a teeny bit of coffee colour if you put it just at the bottom like that does merge with the blue you can use a cocktail stick and then come up and then a teeny bit even put a bit on the cocktail stick and then come down as well it's a little bit violent that one Right, you're on the home run now, so I'm going to get a cleaner brush and just pop some isopropanol in 
the paint pot and get just a little bit on the end of your brush and then you can use it to give just a little bit of some dots in. I don't know if you can see that okay. Maybe put some on that edge. Down that edge. I don't know if you can can you see what that's doing? It's just kind of adding some texture and some interest. So just go along, put some dots in here and there. So really it's just once you get to this stage a question of messing around and seeing what you what you want to do. Um, I might go in and make bits a bit a bit darker. I might put just a tiny bit of alcohol in with the black to revamp that again. Just go in just to give this a bit more I'll just clean my brush again and then I'll show you quickly how I did those flowers. I'll maybe do one on this side. I don't really want any black on my brush. Any tips 
on how to clean the brush. Okay, so these are meant to be fuchsia, so I used a little bit of pink and a little bit of purple. So again, I put some pink in my pot. A bit of purple in the pot. And I did the purple bit. First, which is the inside bit. in your petals really well I'm meant to be fuchsias but I'm making them up and then just really is as you can, a little bit of purple on the end, like that, and then you can mix a bit of the two for if you want some different colours and textures do a bit of shading And then I just use the green and, and blew it around a little bit here. So um, I will put a list on of the stuff that I've used. I'll take a photograph and pop it on. Um, I hope you found that useful. Give it a try. Just try and see if you can see the end result without the too much shine so I'm going to finish do some more flowers and that'll be that one done